Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's October 13, 2022. We are in the New Testament, and we are reading out of the book of Romans, and we're going to read chapter 6 today. All right, so Paul's letter to Romans, he's laying out his theology, his doctrine, uh, wrote everything that Paul would, would bring to start a church, he's put into this letter to this new church in Rome. Uh, where are we at in our letter? He's getting ready to talk about sin and the sin, and basically that hey, if if, if Christ came to, to take away the, our sin and take away the, our guilt for our sin, does that mean that I can keep sinning all I want? And Paul says, no. Uh, so well, if, if it's a good thing that Christ came and it's a good thing that that God forgives us for our sins, wouldn't it be good if I kept making sin so He could keep forgiving us? And Paul says, no, and probably an eye roll that's still rolling around. Just because we're, 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 sin has no hold over us, that means, doesn't mean that we're allowed to keep sinning. That means we need to get rid of the sin, put it away, put it, put it, put it behind us, put it to death and walk away from it. That's the power that Jesus gave us that we can now withstand that sinful nature that we couldn't withstand before and that we can show that hey god that's what I, you know i want to be more like you not more like i was so let's go ahead and we're going to read romans chapter six well then should we keep on sinning so that god can show us more and more of his wonderful grace of course not since we have died to sin how can we continue to live in it and have you forgotten that when we were joined with christ jesus in baptism we joined him in his death for we died and were buried with Christ by baptism. And just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glorious power of the Father, now we also may live new lives. Since we have been united with him in his death, we will also be raised to life as he was. We know that our old sinful selves were crucified with Christ so that sin might lose its power in our lives. We are no longer slaves to sin. For when we died with Christ, we were set free from the power of sin. And since we died with Christ, we know we will also live with him. We are sure of this because Christ was raised from the dead and he will never die again. Death no longer has any power over him. When he died, he died once to break the power of sin. But now that he lives, he lives for the glory of God. So you also should consider yourselves to be dead to the power of sin and alive to God through Jesus Christ. Do not let sin control the way you live. Do not give in to sinful desires. Do not let any part of your body become an instrument of evil to serve sin. Instead, give yourselves completely to God, for you were dead, but now you have new life. So use your whole body as an instrument to do what is right for the glory of God. Sin is no longer your master, for you no longer live under the requirements of the law. Instead, you live under the freedom of God's grace. Well then, since God's grace has set us free from the law, does that mean we can go on sinning? Of course not. Don't you realize that you became the slave of whatever you choose to obey? You can be a slave to sin, which leads to death. So you can choose to obey God, which leads to righteous living. Thank God, once you were slaves of sin, but now you wholeheartedly obey this teaching we have given you. Now you are free from your slavery to sin, and you have become slaves to righteous living. Because of the weakness of your human nature, I am using the illustration of slavery to help you understand all this. Previously, you let yourselves be slaves to impurity and lawlessness, which led ever deeper into sin. Now you must give yourselves to be slaves to righteous living, so that you will become holy. When you were slaves to sin, you were free from the obligation to do right. And what was the result? You are now ashamed of the things you used to do, things that end in eternal doom. But now you are free from the power of sin and become slaves of God. Now you do those things that lead to holiness and result in eternal life. For the wage of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. May God bless the reading of his word, and may God bless you. Bye.